has already had enough, more than enough, of war and hate and oppression. We shall be prepared if others wish it. We shall be alert to try to stop it. But we shall also do our part to build a world of peace where the weak are safe and the strong are just. We are not helpless before that task or hopeless of its success. Confident and unafraid, we must labor on, not towards a strategy of an what do you consider yourself? An African, an African born in America. What does that mean? It means that uh, it's coming from, not to go all the way into history, but coming from the slave trade, coming from Africa, being brought by so many thousands and millions of people that's brought into this, into America, into all parts of the world. I am an African and so happy and proud of it. If I had the power and to go back over life and to recall my life again, I would be the same, only that I probably would be born, born right there in Africa without the slave trade. But because of that situation, I am an African born in America and I'm proud. Wow. What do you, how do you consider the um, connection between African, in American, African Americans and Africans that are born in the continent? Oh, I mean the ancestry. That's it, ancestors, you know. Knowing your history and knowing that you come from there is, is without saying who you are. You're decent, you're you're traveling from there, the way how I look, the way how I feel, the way how I love, loving myself. I'm an African and that's, I think that's the whole, the whole component part of knowing about us as a people, knowing who you are, knowing where you come from. That's it, Africa. Locks, style, and barreled right there in African. <laughs> what do you consider an African? Do you think an African should be in the mind, as a mindset, or is it the continent? Everything is, starts with a mindset. And it is the mindset of how you feel. You might be white with blue eyes, but if you're born on the African continent and you grew up with the culture, you are what you are, that, you know. So an African person is not so much by the coloring and who they, you know, your physical attributes, which that makes it even more, but your mindset, how you do things, how you love your own. It's all about the connection between um, the Native American and the uh, African. Yes. Yes, um, before time, um, a lot of books that we have have been destroyed and been um, universities all been burnt down and everything. Um, we had African people that would come here to America before the slavery, before all time. So if you look at in Egypt the connection of the uh, of, of the Native American. We don't understand where they come from. It hasn't been a written book, but we have to say that they come from us. They come from Africa because a lot of the culture, a lot of the things that they do is the same of what we do even now and has always been. So the connection with that is really one, but because of a lot of influence of American and of uh, uh, European type of ways. We have lost a lot. They have lost a lot, but we're trying to get it all back because Africa is the place of mankind. Those uh, are 
a, a group of society of people that's one of the first that that entered into America and how they came from Egypt. But a lot of work isn't done because a lot of it has been burned and been mis, you know, Imhotep had so much of the things that did. The first university that we have, you know, in Egypt and things, it, it was with that, that the Africans traveled and did work with even the Native American, the Hopi people that was here. So it is a connection with them and us because we are the first and, they, and everyone comes from us. Europe and every place that you see, everybody traveled out and gone did certain ways at certain times, but everyone comes from Africa. And um, we have been traveling from the first of everything. Europe wasn't even known of, the Caucasus caves wasn't even heard of until we was on the planet going the different places. They talk about the, the stars and, and all the different things of, uh, of the universe. And it was always the first of the black hole that, that sinks in the universe that everyone comes from. It's not so much about the religious part of Adam and Eve and all of these things. No, no. It was all it was all in the universe and the cosmos. That's it. That's right. Thank you. That uh, that derived from us and from different people. You know, it wasn't. It, it it just the whole thing of the Native Americans and African people. Our connection is so is almost one. But they haven't realized it that much, and a lot of us haven't because we haven't read that those parts with that. What is your personal connection with Native America? Well, um, yeah, I, I have um, Native American blood, I think, in me, and I think, I, you know, oh yes. Who was Native American in, in your family? Well, I guess it starts back with my grandmother and grandfather, and things and the slaves that was uh, that was captured in South Carolina. And, you know. From what tribe do you, are you? Well, my father, they would always mention Cherokee, but I guess it was different. It was so many thousands of uh, tribes of people, of societies of people. I don't like to say in tribes, but society of people. That was a, you know, but they always say it was it was them, you know, the shape and how you are and stuff. It's a native, native um, American, but whatever, I always go back to Africa, you know. Um, it's Africa. That's 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 what I, I, I my concept is. Nothing else. It's